We tell the Somali people that the agreement we have tabled to Parliament today is solely about cooperation between Somalia and Turkey on maritime defense and economy. It is not in any way aimed at creating hatred or a feud with another country or government. To engage a bilateral agreement with the help us on this matter, Turkey became the first government ready for this agreement to assist us with maritime-related defense matters. OK, let's discuss this with Murat Aslan, who's an associate professor at Hassan Kalyonji University. He joins me from Ankara. Um, why does uh, Murat, why does Somalia need this deal? What are the threats it's been facing? Uh, first, let me delineate one thing. Turkey is in Somalia for more than 14 years with military. And Turkey's biggest military base is situated in Somalia. So we have to first capture this. The second issue, Somalia does have weakness in terms of protecting the maritime zone. And there is a great uh, escalation, not escalation, but uh, a sort of political crisis with Ethiopia, because Ethiopia wants to have a reach to Gulf of Aden through Somaliland. On the other hand, Somaliland is not a recognized state by all African states, because uh, once they accept it, well, they have the similar problems. That means it will lead something else in terms of political landscape. So that's why there must be a balance in the region, and Somalia is surging for a support, and that could mediate and maybe uh, at least provide uh, the countries a sort of guarantee that they could come to the least terms of agreements on the coastal region. So it's not a military pact, but an assistance to Somalia uh, by, the Turk, uh, by the hands of Turkish military. You say it's not a military pact, but if, you, if you've got tensions between Somalia and neighbouring Ethiopia, and uh, Ethiopia are, let's say, cozying up with the breakaway regions of Somaliland, is there a risk that uh, Turkey could get drawn into those tensions? Well, Turkey does have good relations both with both of countries. Uh, Turkey provided UAVs to Ethiopia, at least uh, to provide security at the up north Tigray region, uh, and do the same thing for Somalia against countering terrorism for the last decade. In this sense, presence of Turkish military over there, well, it's not against Ethiopia. And I believe that there will be a further diplomacy to tell Ethiopians that there must be a mediated diplomatic solution of, on what, what they need. And maybe uh, Somali, Somaliland and Ethiopia may sit together and understand each other and agree on something. And let me just remind you one thing. It was 2007, uh, there was a meeting, a summit in Ankara uh, by the supervision of then foreign minister and also prime minister and prime minister was Erdogan, Somalia and Somaliland agreed on communicating with each other and they have no problem afterwards. So why not relying on the same agreement and keep continue for a stable region? In recent years, we've seen quietly the likes of Russia, China, developing their interest, developing their presence in Africa. As you mentioned already, Turkey's got a well-established relationship um, with Somalia. It's had a base there for many years. This is a 10-year commitment. Um, does that give Turkey a platform, platform from which to pursue perhaps other strategic interests in the region? I think if you go through the military bases of, you know, superpower, uh, regional powers or developing ones, doesn't matter, like China, Russia, the United States, or France, they have bases in the region, mainly either in Djibouti or the other states. So an additional commitment by the Turkish military will just put another brick on the security architecture of the region. That, that's one fact. On the other hand, uh, we have the problems over there, should be addressed, like piracy, terrorism, radicaliz radicalization. And if there is a consensus among the countries that have presence in the uh, region, well, it's a contribution to a safe maritime traffic, uh, a measure to prevent radicalization, and a joint stance against terrorism. So this is a step that's not a challenge, I believe, to other states, but uh, at least a step to... Uh, push the other states come together and consult with Turkey because Turkey has a soft power in the region. That's the fact. So, so this is the expectation in Ankara right now. 
Murat, great to speak to you. Thanks for your time. Murat Aslan is my guest, Associate Professor at Hassan Kalyonju University.